Countries around the world mark Gay Pride Month with parades and parties. Members of the LGBTQ community in countries across the Middle East don't all have the right to celebrate. Homosexuality is illegal in 11 of the 18 states and territories that make up the region and punishable by death in six of these. One of the worst offenders for anti-gay laws is the Islamic Republic of Iran. Just this week, Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif defended executions of gay men in his country, citing what he called moral principles of Iranian society. In late January, a 31-year-old man was publicly hanged in Iran after being found guilty of violating the country's anti-gay laws. Many Iranians try to flee, attempting to gain status as refugees, but proof in order to garner asylum comes with unique complications. The challenge that LGBT refugees are facing is a paradox, that they have to deny their sexual orientation um, in one hand and they have to prove it. Imagine that, you know, you're living in Iran, you are facing persecution, and the, the only way that to survive is to deny your sexual orientation. And there are other challenges. The U.S. government doesn't accept uh, Iranians because of the President Trump travel ban. And uh, that travel ban, you know, was you know, basically introduced in order to put pressure on Iranian regime and allies by targeted refugees as well. So those LGBT refugees who escaped from the regime because that regime wanted to persecute them, right now they are being stopped because they are from Iran. But some specialists see glimmers of hope for reform in the region, both from activists and from public policy. I see that movement in Lebanon uh, that has been going on for 15, 20 years now to the point where celebrities, Lebanese celebrities, are doing uh, videos inviting the public to, to accept LGBTQ identifying folks within the community, which is, I find, so heartwarming and meaningful. The bottom and, and the top will meet somewhere in the middle. And I think a classic or great example is Lebanon, where judges in recent years have ruled in favor of the LGBT community and against sort of that norm structure that was in place. And hope that free information can be a game changer. The force of social media and um, sort of dissenting voices even within political and institutional structures such as uh, judges, but also the, the strong civil society that exists in some of the countries um, will help sort of forge um, a momentum. People are now aware enough to say that, yes, I am gay and I have my rights. With the hope that change will ripple through the region.